hey guy from new plastic and i'll never work in srgb again and you shouldn't either if you want to learn more about what aces means honestly just google it but all you need to know is that it's a new and improved color system that will make your renders much more rich beautiful and realistic follow me on instagram at ojang subscribe share comment clean your room let's go So I have this really simple scene here with some still life objects from Quixel Bridge. You can see how it looks in the render viewer and it looks pretty nice overall. I specifically chose this scene because it's an indoor scene with no indoor lights so it's pretty dark but it has this sunlight beaming through which creates this extreme contrast between the light and the dark parts and introduces a classic exposure problem just like when you take a photo in the sun. If you choose to expose the light areas the dark areas will be way too dark and if you choose to expose the dark areas the light will be blown out. Now you can see I'm rendering using the same old sRGB color space and with this image I want to expose the dark areas so if I go to the exposure settings and start increasing the exposure we are definitely brightening up the dark areas but boy oh boy are we hitting the bright limits of this color space you can see this absolutely disgusting saturation and clipping on everything that's bright and usually at this point I would have increased the highlight compression or played with the saturate to white to try and save the image but generally I would just have to accept the lack of dynamics and maybe add artificial lights indoors to brighten up the dark areas without raising the exposure. And that's exactly where Ace's workflow comes in. To change your color space in Octane, first thing you want to do is go to your Octane settings, go to settings tab and color management tab. If you never touched it, yours would probably look like this with this use other config file unchecked. You would need to feed Octane an actual color space configuration file, which you can easily download from the link in the description. Or if you just Google open color IO, color science, GitHub, in the GitHub, you'll see this folder with all the different versions of the configuration file. All you gotta do is click on this green code button and click download zip. Once you downloaded it and unzipped the file, go back to your color management tab in Octane, check this option, click on the three dots, go to the folder you just unzipped. You'll see this folder here, click into it and choose whichever version you want. I use 1.2, which right now is the newest, but I think anything beyond 1.0.3 is okay to use. Click into it and select the config.ocio file. And that's it, you can leave everything else as is. Next thing you wanna do is go to the camera imager tab, then OCIO tab, and in the OCIO view dropdown, select ACES sRGB. And congratulations, you're now working in the ACES color space. Now, let's store this sRGB render so we can compare it. And to actually see the live viewer render in ACES, click here in the live viewer and select OCIO sRGB. Now, immediately our image became much richer with ridiculously higher contrast, which is amazing, but the actual insanity happens when I start increasing the exposure. Just look at all this highlight detail. It's still technically blown out, but nothing is really clipping. There's so much detail in the highlights and they don't saturate in that nasty way. This actually looks so much more like a, how a photo will overexpose. One thing to note is that when you work in ACES, the highlight compression won't have any effect anymore as well as the gamma, but you actually don't need it anymore because you'll never get that issue of clipping highlights. Everything else here will still work the same. Yeah, this is really great. Just look again how dull everything looks in sRGB compared to ACES. And I actually saved this kernel as a preset with the ACES view turned on along with the live viewer set on ICIO and saved that as my startup project file. So whenever I turn on cinema, this is my default render settings, which I advise you to do the same. Now, actually, the last thing you want to do to actually render everything out in this color space is go to your render settings, go to Octane Renderer tab. And in the main tab here, one thing you can do is change the color space here to ACES CG, which will render out an actual ACES color space image file. The problem with this is that you would need to also have the right tools in your compositing software to deal with this color space, which if you do, that's cool. Go ahead and do that. I don't like doing it. In After Effects, you still need to install like a special plugin and work in an extremely messy way just to handle these files it's just too much for me so what i like to do is to render out a regular srgb image file that has the aces look baked into it to do that change the buffer type to ldr and in the color space choose ocio then click this select ocio color space go to output and select output srgb now you'll simply render this exact image as a regular image 
and you don't need to worry about converting the image in your compositing software. You lose some of the amazing color editing capabilities Asus has in post. And if that's something you absolutely need, then just render it in Asus CG and learn how to work with it in your compositing software. There are many tutorials about that, but yeah, that's it. Here's another example of an image I had rendered both in sRGB and in Asus. And again, look at the difference in how deep the shadows are, how rich the highlights are, just incredible. And here's another one, an old thumbnail of my hair tutorial. Just looks so much better. Literally makes me want to go back to all my old work and re-export everything in Asus, which will be kind of dumb, but I'm a dumb fuck, so who knows, I might just do that. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick one that other people had already talked about, but I felt so strongly about this, I had to share it with you. Big thanks to all my patrons and members on the screen right now. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.